everybody, I am the gamer, Ace Cannon, and welcome back to my channel. It's so great to see you again. So today I'm going to be jumping back into the world of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And just in case you didn't see part 7, I will put a link in the description below. Now, before I get started, we have just entered the holiday season. But even though my studio isn't as festive as it could be, I have an idea. There we go. Now, I'm ready to get started. Because... It's game on. Okay, so not only is the Pokemon trainer hoping to catch that Charizard you just saw, but he is also on the lookout for an Ivasaur as well. So I'm going to choose the Pokemon trainer, and let's see if he can find and catch those Pokemon. Okay, here we go. The first enemy to appear is this armored enemy. I'm sorry, make that two. Yes, took both of them out. Alright, Squirtle was able to take down that boomerang enemy with its surf attack. Able to avoid those. And able to avoid those spikes as well. Okay, the armored enemy is back. And some puppets are here as well. Yes, captured one. And all the enemies have been taken out. Alright, here are some purple enemies. But Squirtle was able to take all three of them out with its rapid spin attack. Okay, got some health here from that blue cube. Now, let's go up this elevator. Whoa, this is a very interesting looking enemy. It kind of looks like one of those, um, totem poles. Alright, I was able to capture one of them. I gotta keep an eye out for those lasers. Now, there are two ways to beat this enemy. You can either attack the enemy uh, base by base, or you can just attack the main part of it, which is the top of its head, and the enemy will be defeated completely. And I kind of find that it's a much quicker way to beat that enemy. All right, took down that puppet. And I was able to take down that wind enemy. Now, before I continue, there is a secret door hidden around here. Actually, it's right down here. There it is. Let's go inside. All right, got a sticker. Got a trophy. Alright, got the other trophy. Now, let's grab these stickers. There we go. Now, I think that's everything here, so let's go back. Now, the secret door can be a little difficult to find in this section. But just keep this in mind. It is the third pitfall where the secret door is. The two before it and the one after are just regular pitfalls. And if you go down one of them, unfortunately, 
you will lose a life. Okay, got another trophy. Now let's make our way into this cave. Whoa, this place is covered in lava. All right, now I have to keep an eye out for these fireballs. Okay, there we go, able to avoid them all. Took down those two fire enemies. Now, I was able to stop the flames by hitting that button, but unfortunately, they don't, that only lasts for a short amount of time, so you gotta make sure to keep hitting it as soon as you see it. Alright, took down all of those fire enemies. Okay, that enemy with swords for hands are here. Alright, there we go, took both of them out. Alright, there's a golden cube, let's see what's inside. Got another trophy. Yes, got an extra life. Okay, some purple enemies are here. And these wheels look a little familiar. Kind of like those electric wheels you saw before. However, instead of shooting out electricity, they shoot out flames instead. But I was able to take them all out. And now these growing enemies are here. Yes! There we go, took all three of them out. And even more enemies have appeared. Alright, there we go. All of them have been taken out. Now let's jump on this platform. Alright, another floating platform. You know what that means. Yep, I knew it. More enemies. I think pretty much any time that there's a floating platform in this game, there's going to be a number of enemies appearing. Alright, took down those two sword-handed enemies. Took down the flame wheel, and that's all of them. Okay, another elevator. Let's go up. And there's the door. But before I do that, gotta get these stickers first. Now, let's go to the next section. Okay, so while Lucas and the Pokemon Trainer were searching for Ivasaur and Charizard, Wario has appeared, and it looks like he is ready for a fight. However, 
This is an opportunity for Lucas to get his revenge on Wario after he captured Ness. So Lucas, let's go. All right, let the battle begin. So Wario uses a lot of close-up attacks. So I think it's probably better if Lucas uses a lot more of his PK attacks, which by the way, stands for Psychokinesis. So it's pretty much just psychic powers. But he has PK Freeze, PK Fire, and PK Thunder. And they are all very effective. I'm also going to try to hit Wario with Lucas's most powerful attack that can do a lot of damage. If I can hit it. Just messed up. Oh, once again, just messed up. Yes! Excellent job, Lucas. You got your revenge by defeating Wario. Okay, so I'm going to be stopping here for right now, but don't worry, part 9 will be coming up soon. And it looks like Lucas finally got his revenge by defeating Wario, which is fantastic. However, it looks like Bowser got to King DDD's hideout first, and it also looks like he took Zelda with him. But hopefully, Mario, Pit, Link, Yoshi, and Kirby will not only track Bowser down, but will also save Zelda as well. Alright, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my Facebook page. I will put a link in the description below. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.